the formidable robot. Descent is an unreleased SpongeBob episode planned to be released in 2005 by Impact Studios, the same studio that later did Red Mist. It was made originally years back before SpongeBob was made. The planned episode was basically the inside of Squidward's subconscious mind during the period at the end of Red Mist and planned as the planned sequel of Red Mist. Nickelodeon greenlit the episode back in 1999 during the first season of SpongeBob, but when Todd Kennings was hired, things took an unexpected turn during production of the episode. Todd Kennings is definitely an individual to talk about. Todd was born on March 20, 1975, and was friends with Andrew Skinner, and hired back in 2000 during the greenlit of season 2. Phil Tibbet was pushing Todd to get the planned episode made. Although Andrew wasn't involved in production of the episode, Todd had him help write the episode's script and hire animators and renew during his time in prison. The episode Todd made was called, Descent. Todd was shown red mist after finding one of the scrapped tapes in a junkyard while traveling in Scotland. It was loosely inspired by red mist as Todd created the episode delving into, what he described, Squidward's mental psyche as he's pushed into the brink of insanity and what images and visions one has. The episode was shown with a group of test personnel, two of the artists and one of the artists who watched the episode, Beryl Jenkins. The episode started with a title card, Descent, with the director of the episode being Todd Cummings. The episode started with Squidward staring at a mirror. His face was indescribable as he spoke in an ominous tone. Who are you? And who am I? As the screen cuts to Squidward's eyes turning strikingly blue, he turned around and spoke again. I am nothing. Nothing more than an empty shell. Maybe I should die. Squidward collapsed and lay there. The screen cuts to the outside of Squidward's house, slowly going to nighttime. Then it switches to Squidward's mind. He wakes up in a dark decrepit version of his room. Hello? Squidward called, his voice echoing ominously. Jesus Christ, where are your full stops? He stumbled across the room before grabbing a flashlight from a dresser. He turned it on and opened the door. As it opened, the room showed Squidward's art room. All of the paintings were scattered across, windows were smashed, and the wall had a message. I am nobody. Squidward's eyes widened. He backed away. Suddenly, the walls start closing in. Then, the walls started oozing black goo. Squidward started hyperventilating as he charged and ran into the window. Then, a loud ear rape-worthy shatter was heard as Squidward jumped out the window. The floor beneath Squidward's falling body phases through, causing him to fall into a vast black void. Squidward heard deep harsh voices. Stop trying to be good. You'll never be good. Being creative leads you to depression. Go to hell, Squid! Everyone gasped. No character or voice had actually burst at someone. Squidward bumps into a diver's helmet as a whisper was heard. You always be known as the tortured one. The helmet's face opens up as Squidward was thrown in. It cuts to show an insane asylum room with the sounds of piercing screams and wails along with banging heard. A nurse comes in and says in an eerie voice. It's time for your shot, Squidward tentacles. <laughs> Squidward screamed as a needle was plunged into his body. Then, Squidward gasped as his eyes dropped. He collapsed and ended with the outside perspective of Squidward twitching on the ground, supposedly from being thrown out of the window. Laughing could be heard with other voices saying some mean phrases. What a loser! You'll be the laughing stock of the world. To say that everyone was horrified is an understudy of what happened. Todd was reprimanded majorly for making a disturbing episode, and after a month of staying at the studio to estimate what happens next, Todd was immediately fired and banned from Nickelodeon Studios. Then, Todd was arrested after finding out that two of the artists were killed during the period of making the episode. He was arrested on February 17, 2001, ironically during the making of Worthy. To this day, Todd moved away into Alaska, 
and remained there for the entire time and is still alive and well. The episode, which was on a Betamax tape, was dumped and later used to air the episode Wormy on television.